Hello. Bonjour à tous. Welcome to KubeCon and welcome to Cilium and eBPF Day. So today is going to be about all the Cilium projects that are powered with eBPF. And before we start, first of all, we want to thank our diamond sponsors. So please give a round of applause to Solo. and to Isovelen too. Something we really care about at KubeCon is the code of conduct. So please uh, treat everybody as you would want to be treated. And if you want details, everything is in there so you can just flash the QR code and see the code of conduct from the CNCF. Um, so something we wanted to announce is the Cilium certification is now a uh, GA and you will be able to get a, a coupon to, to do it with, with a discount. So um, we just checked this morning and we're uh, north of 18,000 stars uh, for the Cilium project and we hope we will hit 20,000. So maybe not this week, but definitely by next KubeCon. Um, yesterday, we had the first Cilium Developer Summit, and I think it was really nice uh, to get so many people, uh, so many developers of Cilium together, and definitely something we, we plan to do again in the future. Yeah, and also thank you, Laurent and Datadog, for hosting us. We had a great time and a great view of Paris and some great conversations uh, for the future of the project. So um, there's a lot of things happening around Cilium, not just today, but the rest of the conference. There's going to be 26 different talks about the project. Uh, there's a maintainer's track session. There's a project booth to go to. There's many different ways to meet the different maintainers of the project. Please come say hi. We're real people, not like these AI developers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, if you scan this code, you, it'll lead you to a, a project page that'll list all the different things that are happening around KubeCon. Um, so for your information, uh, I'll leave it up for a second so people can take a picture if they want to. And this is the list of all the different talks. It's very fine print because there are so many. I think this is what makes me really excited about the future of the Cilium project is that there's so much great things happening from the community, from different talks about uh, introduction to Cilium to running it in uh, high security or regulated environments to Tetragon. There's lots of different things happening around the Cilium project and I'm excited for you to learn all about it this week. Uh, just a little update from the project. The 1.15 release uh, just came out, and we have a lot of it, exciting announcements. Uh, support for Gateway API, uh, BGP session authentication, uh, new Hubble observability features, a new provider for Terraform and OpenTofu, and cluster mesh scales to over 500 clusters now. And um, there's a lot of exciting things happening around the project, and if you want to be a part of the community, please come talk to me afterwards. We like to hear how actual end users are using the project. So if you want to tell a story about how your company is using Cilium, come talk to me. It's uh, a fun conversation. We get to discuss all the things you love about the project, and I think it's a great benefit for your company, too, to show kind of like the engineering power and talent that you have and also promote your brand a little bit too. You can see a couple examples here. And also, if you're considering whether to use Cilium in your own production environment, I encourage you to check out these case studies. They're real world experience of people using different features around the, the project. There's currently nine, and we have eight more on the way. Um, I think they're really great stories, but I'm biased because I wrote a couple of them. <laughs> And I guess kind of to wrap it all up today, um, we called the opening here uh, Connecting Cloud Native because I, I think this is really where the Cilium project started. I talked about some of the features that came out in 1.15 and here are a few more. Uh, we have things like BGP, 
network policy, load balancer, eBPF service mesh, network flow observability, gateway API, multi-cluster, right? What the Cilium Projects is really able to do is to provide you a networking layer for all of your cognitive needs. Um, and I think this is what is excited about this. I also really like this slide because I changed all the colors for the Cilium logo, so I hope you enjoyed that too. Um, with that, um, uh, there are, throughout the day, captioning and translation. Uh, this is the QR code, too, if you'd like that. Um, I'm from the US. I live in Germany. I know how difficult it is to speak another language or to I interpret some things, so we're providing this. And thank you for CNCF to providing this to the, the project. Um, a little bit of housekeeping, too. There's going to be refreshments and meal. It's going to be found in the, the South Foyer. I think you probably saw them as you were coming in, too. Um, and also, please join us afterwards for the reception. You can discuss with the other attendees everything that you've learned today. Um, there is also going to be table topics and networking. So if there's something you want to talk about, please check out the Cilium and EBPF day uh, lunch uh, or, like topic and find other participants to do that. But I'm sure there's, the room's already packed, so I'm sure you won't uh, miss out uh, finding someone to talk to. And with that, um, we have a packed schedule. This is just the morning. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to have you all here. Uh, our first talk is going to be from UC and Martinez. And they're going to be talking about the deep dive into the Cilium resilient architecture. So uh, with that, yeah, thank you for coming. And I'm excited to spend the day with you.